Hi everyone, it's me Shauna Del Real, and today we're going to paint a harvest pumpkin. I'm starting with a little bit of Kryolan orange. This is the neon UV orange. And I'm loading on a sponge and just creating a nice little circle for the start of our pumpkin design. Next, I'm gonna load up a split cake that I custom made myself with chameleon paint. Um, and I'm picking up just a slight bit of the black, um, a lot of the red and orange and a little bit of the yellow. I'm using a flat brush and just doing C shapes, making sure that my center C shapes are larger than my outer C shapes. And that way um, it looks just more correct as far as pumpkin shape goes. Now I'm taking the edge of my brush after I load it again and I'm creating some fall looking leaves. I want my flow um, to kind of also be in a C shape um, so that I could use this on the cheek or use it um, on the side of the temple. And now I'm gonna use um, a filbert and load up a little bit of neon green and dark green and kind of go back over those leaves just to kind of give them the look of, um, you know, like a green leaf turning into uh, a fall dead leaf, I guess. Um, and now I'm going to just do a little bit of outlining. I'm using a number two uh, round brush to do all my line work. And um, I just want really thin lines, nothing too thick. Um, I do go a little thicker um, when I'm going around the edges of the pumpkin. Um, and um, when I'm coming on the leaves here, I just want to make those kind of give them some nice sharp edges uh, just to give some cool interest um, and a cool look to the design. Nothing too rounded on this part because I really want them look like, looking like fall um, and not like healthy round leaves. So there we go. Next, um, I took a little bit of a lighter yellow that's also from Krylon and I'm doing a little bit of highlighting just because I felt like it was a little bit dark. Uh, and highlights are a quick way to just make everything pop again if you feel like you've deepened up your design a little too much. So next, I am going to add a little bit of glitter. Now this is from Creative Faces. Um, this is pumpkin and this is an actually like a glitter bomb. It's in a stick form. You can just take your finger and swipe a little bit off and then you can go right over your paint. How cool is that? That is so awesome. The cool thing about this is it's a nice base for your other glitters. So as you can see, I'm going to use not just this one, but I'm going to use another glitter to kind of layer and really create some wow sparkle. This is Diamantes de Fuego by Sugar Glitter, which is my own brand and also happens to be the glitter on my nail. And yes, um, I get my nails done at Ulala La Boutique in Lakewood, California and she used my glitter on my nails. So now I'm gonna go over those areas and look at how pretty that sparkle is. So this is a cool way, if you have gels or balms that you use on, on your designs and they're just not quite sparkly because they're in a suspension, then you can take your loose glitter and go right on top and pow, super sparkalicious. So now I decided, well, my daughter said, Mom, maybe you should add some gold. And I think she's absolutely right. So I'm gonna take some Maron metallic powder and some mixing fluid and try not to put too much liquid in um, your container. And whoops, way too much. Uh, so now I'm gonna take a, try to put just a little bit of powder, but as you can see, I went a little overboard with that too. Like this is enough to, I don't know, do like a whole chest piece. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever I put use a little bit too much but mix it up with your brush and then I'm just gonna go over some of the black areas and create a really cool looking um, highlight to this whole design uh, it gives it a whole other element it looks like mixed media it's just a little bit more fun kind of antiques the look a little bit which I think is really cool you don't have to do this this is just an extra step but I think it looks neat if you have this if you don't you can always use just gold paint and um, there you go there's your fall pumpkin I hope you enjoy this design and you can use it at your harvest festivals or your pumpkin patches or whatever all right guys I hope you have a great day thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video bye